In this video, you'll learn how to set up a custom website and email domain for your Beehive publication. By default, you'll automatically receive a Beehive subdomain after creating your account. However, you have the option to connect a custom domain to your publication. Let's get straight into it. First, log into your Beehive account and click on settings in the bottom left of your screen. If you have multiple publications, make sure to select the correct one from the drop down menu before proceeding. Now click on domains and from here, click on set up custom domains. And from here, click on enable a new domain or subdomain under web domain. And here you can enter your custom domain. Generally, we recommend using a subdomain as your web domain. For example, something like www.yourdomain.com or newsletter.yourdomain.com would be considered a subdomain. In this case, yourdomain.com would not be considered a subdomain. Additionally, under redirect web domain, you have the option to choose to redirect your root domain to your website's subdomain. Essentially, if you're using a subdomain as your custom domain, but want the root domain to work as well, you can have the root domain automatically redirect to the subdomain. By default, the no redirect option will be selected. If you do want to redirect your subdomain to its root domain, simply uncheck no redirect, select the second option and hit next. In addition to setting up a custom domain for your publication's website, you can also enable a custom domain for the email your post will be sent from. Essentially, you can customize the email address your subscribers will see in their inbox. Generally, we recommend you choose a domain or subdomain that is not in use. For example, if you use the subdomain newsletter.yourdomain.com for your web domain, you might want to use something like mail.yourdomain.com for your email domain. If you don't want to do this, you can use the domain you previously entered or the free Beehive subdomain provided to all users. Once you're done, click on next. Now on this page, you can review the web and email domain you entered to ensure they're correct. Once you're done, hit finish setup. Now to complete the domain setup process, you have to set up DNS records with your domain provider. You can set up these DNS records using one of two methods. The first method is with entry which supports many domain providers. Selecting this method essentially allows entry to automate the process of adding these DNS records. You can see the full list of supported domain providers on screen right now or in the description of this video. Alternatively, you can select the manual setup option, which will require you to manually add these DNS records with your domain provider. First, let's cover how to use the entry method. After you select the entry option, hit proceed with verification and you should see a pop-up appear. Hit continue an entry will now analyze your domain and determine who your DNS provider is. You'll then be prompted to log into your DNS provider and enter the username and password associated with your account. After you're done with the setup, you may see a badge next to your domain that says entry verification in progress. This indicates that the verification process is still going on. Once the process is complete, the badge will update to live. Now, if your domain provider is not supported by entry or you want to set up your DNS records manually for any reason, select set up manually during the domain setup process instead. Now click proceed with verification and you should see a pop-up appear. This pop-up will show you the DNS records you need to add via your domain provider. Here you can click on the different tabs, web, email, and or redirect to view and copy the corresponding DNS records that you need to add via your domain provider. To add these DNS records, log into your domain provider account and locate the DNS settings. Depending on your domain provider, this will be located in a different place. Now simply create new DNS records based on what is shown in the pop-up. Once you've done this, click on verify setup and wait a little bit for the DNS records to update. Once your domain is verified, a check mark will appear next to the domain type. When everything is configured, click copy to clipboard and close to store your DNS records. Once your setup is complete, a live badge will appear next to the verified domains. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you might like the other tutorials on our YouTube channel.